Utah woman becomes finalist in a toilet paper wedding dress contest, second year in a row. Toilet paper is one of life's necessities, but it serves another purpose for one Utah woman. She uses it to make beautiful wedding dresses. Judy Henry, a 68-year-old grandmother from Woodland Hills, is a top 10 finalist out of 1,500 infants nationwide for the annual toilet paper wedding dress contest resident by cheap chick weddings and charming toilet paper. Henry said she has been soon since she was old enough to tether a sewing machine. She has also been using toilet paper including tearing out pages of old Sears or Penny's catalogs to use as toilet paper in an outhouse in her backyard farm in southern Utah. For many years as well, so when the link for the contest popped out on her computer last summer, she said she just couldn't get the idea out of her head. The contest requires interns to create a completely wearable wedding gown and head piece out of only charming brand toilet paper. Any type of glue and or tape, the dress may also be sewn with needle and thread. What's better than getting free toilet paper to make wedding dress? Well, how about the change to win cash prices of up $10,000 and the change to travel free of course to New York City? So, with just days to go in last year's contest Henry decided to enter. And to her surprise, was picked as a finalist. However, she didn't take home a top spot. Once this year's contest rolled around, Henry wasn't sure if she wanted to enter again due to the dedication it took and having already reached a high level of success. But after some nudging from family, friends as well as the contest directors, she decided to take one more step at it. Making a wedding dressed out toilet of toilet paper is not as easy as one may think, especially if you are competing against the best in the country. But for this creative genius, it took only a few sleepless nights dreaming up how to do it, and a lot of determination and jamshin. Her process included painting a glue water solution over strips of toilet paper, gluing them together and reinforcing them to create a base to be cut in a dress pattern. She then took toilet paper covered in the same solution and twisted them into a yarn. The yarn was then used to create a lace by placing it over pattern she had drawn on paper, then covering it with packing tape to be placed on the dress. The result was dress fit for a bright. The contest rules indicated the dress must be worn by a human model, so she placed the dress on her granddaughter Brill and took some pictures. Days later, Henry found that she was chosen as one of the fin finalists for the contest that will take place in New York City June 16. Uh, it's such an amazing experience to be among these wonderful designers, Henry said. I could spend days just looking at all of this, these dresses. There are so many talented people. When asked about her dressmaking prowess, Henry was humble and her answer as she spoke about the many talented people in our state. She encouraged others to enter the context next year. The grand prize winner will be picked by a panel of judges, but if you would like to help Henry win the fun favorite prize, you may vote by going to cheapcheekwardensk.com.